reviews and information, advice and recommendation, Pinhead RC. here at my park in Queensland had to be removed from the wild because they crossed the line and became a threat to humans. If we left them where they were, they would probably end up being shot. And you can't lock them all up. I'm hoping to come up with a better solution. We call this desperado aggro. It's the wildest crop we've got in the park. And right now, he's hungry. I want to keep my crop to the natural And I'm using myself as live bait. Watch aggro slip into an ambush position. Right now, I've got no idea of knowing where he'll strike from. He's made himself completely invisible. From our 
starting point near Brisbane. It's a three-day drive north into Croc Country. Saltwater crocs are found right across the top end of Australia. Until they were protected in the 70s, they were heavily hunted for their valuable skin. Now populations are recovering, but more and more people are entering crocodile territory, even in the most remote areas, and that means trouble. We're headed for Lakefield National Park, a key area for crocodile conservation. It's November, the end of the dry season, and the coastal wetlands are parked. Even the rivers eventually dry up. Any water that becomes very precious. Now we're heading for the journey ahead of us to catch up with the latest troublemaker. From our starting point near Brisbane, it's a three day drive north into Croc Country. Saltwater crocs are found right across the top end of Australia. Until they were protected in the 70s, they were heavily hunted for their valuable skin. Now populations are recovering, but more and more people are entering crocodile territory, even in the most remote areas, and that means trouble. We're headed for Lakefield National Park, a key area for crocodile conservation. It's November, the end of the dry season, and the coastal wetlands are past. Even the rivers eventually dry up. Any water that's left becomes very precious. Temperatures over 100 degrees. The best thing to do is while away the day in a shady wallow. Keeping cool is a top priority. Like all reptiles, a crop's body temperature is governed by its surroundings. This one looks like a big old male. Older crops are usually darker in colour. The lighter specimen is a much younger croc. In croc society, there's only room for one king of the pond. The biggest, strongest male will drive any rival out of his domain. He's usually the one hassling humans too. But if you take him away, you disrupt the hierarchy of the croc community. Weaker males will fight for his crown and mate with the females, passing on weaker genes. Despite their name, salties aren't confined to tidal regions. They also inhabit freshwater lagoons. There they run shoals in Australia's other croc, the smaller freshwater variety, far less aggressive than it. During the dry, Water acts like a magnet for all kinds of wildlife, a mobile menu for the crop. Wild pigs destroy the riverbanks rooting for food. It's being introduced to Australia from Europe, they've become a real pet. All this wildlife attracts human visitors to the waterhole too. It's a favourite spot for campers. and bird watching. In these peaceful surroundings, people tend to forget what could be lurking in the water. 